Hello, I'm Les Rowley, developer of uh, this item here, which is called the uh, Sargasso Bike Tracker. There you go, you can see it in its uh, plastic casing. And this is the second kind of prototype that I've made, which has the, um, the working effect of actually tracking a bike once it's been stolen. So, there it goes, there's the device, about as the size of my finger. It's quite light, as you can see. Um, so let me just explain uh, what you need. You need obviously this, which you would have bought from a shop. Um, you need one of these to take off uh, your bike saddle. So as you can see the bike, I'll demonstrate that in a, in a moment. And you need a mobile, a mobile phone. Okay, so let's just start with, um, you've purchased this from a, a bike retailer. Um, taking it off the packaging, I, I, I presume. Um, and then we're going to insert it into the up tube of the bike. So I'll, I'll just do that. Here we have a bike which would be your pride and joy. So um, what you do is you, you take off the top tube, get the sargasso, and then insert it down into the, the up tube there. And then return the tubing to the top, and that's as simple as it is. So you've got this inside the bike, and one day you happen to have the bike stolen. So what we do is take a mobile phone on there will be uh, an, a Sargasso app and at the moment you actually purchase this you're given um, it's an eight digit uh, unique serial number um, you would go to the app on the uh, on the phone let me just show you works the same as, uh, as any app there you go you tap in the number uh, which you will have been emailed when you purchase this through the website um, and then which this does effectively is activate uh, a battery life currently uh, 15 hours which will be inside the bottom of the bike tube. Now from your mobile phone you will access that and the mapping will then appear on the app and it will show you in relation to where you are the location of the bike or the location of this item, the Sargasso. If this has been taken out of the bike, then all this will do will obviously locate the Sargasso and, and all you'll retrieve is, is this. Uh, but hopefully it's in the bike and you'll be able to retrieve, uh, retrieve the, the, the bicycle with this still in it. Now I have tested this item once in November um, and I successfully retrieved or found the location of the of the bicycle which was a cheap Marin at the time I'd used set it up for the purpose for the experiment um, with a smaller version of this which was used on a laptop not a mobile phone but now I've um, I've developed this with the circuit board inside this is actually a plastic casing with with the, the, the boarding inside it's all sealed up um, and this just has a, an extra uh, battery life um, but the GPS um, circuit board is in there uh, the microprocessor chips, microprocessor chip is in there um, and all the components uh, for the battery cell to last 15 minutes once it's turned on. It'll only activate it for 15 hours and after that uh, the battery will run out um, and it'll be, be useless. You won't be able to track your bike after, after the battery signal goes. Um, and that's it. Once you get the bike back, um, you take out um, this from the tubing in there and you have to then go replace this. Uh, because this is uh, no good after that, it, it can't be rechargeable, there's no components for it to be recharged either internally or as an external um, uh, piece of hardware. So it's used for just the once, but the experiment has worked every single, every single time. Now I'd say the beauty of this is the fact that I built this myself um, from components kind of which, which are in here, which is, uh, which is a Garmin uh, GPS bike um, computer. Um, and again with the components uh, from a mobile phone. 
Um, and I'd say with the, the components that I used, um, it, it came to you know maybe kind of 30, 35 pence for the parts, um, but that doesn't take into account any packaging or um, uh, manufacturing for unit costs or any, any design, because currently at the moment, this is all it is. Um, you know, it's, it's just a, a blue piece of plastic uh, with the circuit board inside. Um, which goes in there. Obviously somebody will say that it could be designed slightly better and, and, and maybe it could but for the purpose of this all it needs to be is inserted into the tube so it doesn't really have to look aesthetic in any way other than at the point of sale where it might look attractive to, to people buying buying the, the, um, the, the Sargasso. Uh, I've done some preliminary research uh, with bike retailers around my local area who were interested in, in the device uh, and said that it would be something they would be interested in, in, in selling at point of sale. Uh, there are over three million new bikes sold every year and this could be something which would be put into them so you know they could get the bike back. Um, they suggested that uh, a retail price of between 20 and 50 pounds would be something they'd be interested in and one retailer even said that he would be willing to put down um, an offer now to buy a, a thousand of these uh, to sell in his shop. Obviously I've not got it to any stage where it could be in the shops and be purchased um, but as far as I'm I'm concerned this is a product which does work uh, which wouldn't come back come back to the retailer once it was sold it locates the bike uh, and the only drawback is it doesn't actually retrieve the bike. Um, the test I did located this to a, uh, to a house um, at which point I tried to contact the police uh, and the police said there was another unit involved in bike theft um, and um, they weren't really aware of, of how I'd come around you know finding they called it entrapment um, actually to start with um, so they advised me not to take any action in, in terms of approaching the theft uh, the, the thief to then get my my bike back so that's another an issue that um, you know maybe is, is to be considered but as far as this little device goes it works perfectly um, and now I'm just looking to take it on to the next stage of development which is design, um, proper production uh, and obviously costing to maybe put this into, um, into manufacture and you know, hopefully get it into, uh, into, into bike, bike shops and online uh, sites. So thank you very much for, for listening. Um, I think I've addressed all the questions but um, you obviously can email me on lesroley at virginmedia.com um, and obviously I've sent this as a proposal to a, an organisation called Nesta and um, obviously you can contact um, me through them. I'm hoping they'll take it on as, you know, and encourage some development um, through bike shops and uh, we'll see if we can eliminate bike theft in the UK. Certainly I'm a, v a victim of uh, bike theft. Uh, my own opinion of, of this is no matter how much insurance money you get, there are some bikes which are, are irrepli irre irreplaceable. Uh, and that's happened to me and this idea comes from my determination to get back my own bike that I had stolen for me um, you know, two years ago, which I know now I'll never ever see again. Um, so, okay, uh, there it is, the Sargasso. Um, bike tracker. So, um, there we go.